Yeah! 2K! What's going on, guys? It's your boy TTG Green Bean, aka Walking Bucket Alert! And in this video, guys, we're gonna be talking about the difference and what we can expect as far as the park and the playground goes, man. Now, I don't know if you guys want the park or the playground or the neighborhood, whichever one you want to call it, but make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that thumbs up button, man, and we're going to go ahead and get right into this video. Now, comment down below which one do you think you want, and we'll go ahead and talk about it. Let's get into it, man. Okay. Now, I know that a lot of people are thinking that Maybe we should go back to the old ways as far as how the parks were separated with the Rivet City, Old Town, and the Sunset Beach. Actually, comment down below which uh, team you were a part of or which, you know, neighborhood or park you were a part of. I was a part of Sunset Beach. Me personally, me and my brothers were part of Sunset Beach. But let me know which one you guys were a part of. But um, anyways, I know a lot of people want us to go back to or want 2K to go back to that. And the only problem I think will run into is I think that now since there's the layers and booters that are more efficient I know there was some back then but they're more efficient now I think the problem that we'll run into is the games will be lagging even more than what they do now now as far as the games lagging today they don't lag as much I can't say that for sure but I know for sure that it will lag a little bit. But you know, I'm not, I'm not, you know, counting it out. I do believe that they're gonna bring back a neighborhood. So the only problem is they would have to bring three different neighborhoods. I don't know why, but 2K likes the whole neighborhood situation. It makes them more money, in my personal opinion. So I do think that they're gonna bring back the neighborhood, but having three separate neighborhoods, I don't think that's possible. But what I think they are going to do is make one neighborhood but try and you know do what they said they were going to do in this year for 2k19 interchange the actual parks you know so not necessarily just strictly having the courts that we have now and stuff like that i think they are going to change that and stuff like that but hey i don't i mean i'm just making speculations at this point but let's actually talk about that so if we were to have three different um let's say park affiliations or whatever whatnot which how would you think that they would do that? I'm, not, I'm curious on that. I don't think it would be possible since they brought into the neighborhood and all that stuff since they introduced this. I don't think that would be possible myself. But if they were to do so, um, it would be pretty cool though. You know, they would bring back Rival Day, of course. I think they got away with it because people weren't playing Rival Day whenever it was a thing. But if they were to bring back the actual... Um, neighborhood instead of the park i think what they need to do is just go ahead and get away with the actual road to 99 and actually give us a meaning to grind for my park games you know because you know i'm an elite one star my brothers are elite three star and elite two star at present day not in this video but um that you see playing in the background but you know we got to those points or those um park reps and we don't even you know you don't even get anything for it you know um you get the elite park player whenever you win like 250 games i believe and then not, nothing you don't get any um rewards or rep or anything extra rep or anything like that for hitting those um little i guess achievements or something like that so if they were to bring back the neighborhood i think they need to make it more so like a rep system per se so we can actually get rewarded for um you know grinding the park i think uh poor boy sin has like twelve thousand, maybe thirteen thousand wins now at the park and it means nothing because he didn't get anything extra or anything now granted he is a 99 overall but he could have got that grinding strictly uh my career if he wanted you know what i mean and he would have still got the same if he would have grinded it strictly park basically which is what he did so i think they need to make it to where you know the people who were grinding at park and stuff like that actually get rewarded for grinding at the park so you guys comment down below what you think about that man um that's just how i personally feel but um 
the park, if they brought back the park, trust me, I wouldn't have no problems with that, man. Different park affiliations and stuff like that. It makes it more competition-like and stuff. But I think that the neighborhood makes 2K too much money. The only thing is with the neighborhood, they got to kind of somehow fix the uh, service to where people who are just standing around in the actual neighborhood they don't count as far as having the games filled or whatnot because that's what happens nowadays people get on the game they go to the neighborhood and they just stand there you know in front of the um gatorade facility and that needs to go away too in my personal opinion they need to get rid of that but that's just what i think um but yeah you guys comment down below what you think man let me know what you think got another video coming out with you guys tomorrow it's about the archetype system and stuff like that so let me know what you guys think man and as always ttg green bean baby we out man love y'all make sure y'all hit that subscribe button man peace